Temple of Jerusalem The Jerusalem Temple, during those days, this temple, which was built by King Solomon, was very a famous masterpiece. The first temple, which was assumed to be completed in 1004 BC was destroyed by the Babylonian invasion of Judah, in 586 BC. When there was no temple at all, for several hundred years, in the land of Judah, this temple was rebuilt, during the days of the Roman regime. Herod, was the one who rebuilt this temple. During the Roman regime, he was appointed, as the king of Judah. During 43 AD, Herod, bought additional piece of the land, adjoining to the existing temple, and constructed a massive structure. To build this magnificent temple, Herod, had employed thousand priests, and ten thousand laborers. It took nine years, for Herod, to complete the construction of this temple. Since, Herod was very much fascinated, and interested in the Greek colossal design, the Jerusalem temple, contains Greek architecture, and masonry patterns. This brought, certain degree of discontent amongst, several Jews. They accused saying, that the temple was not in accordance, with the instructions given to Solomon, by God. Furthermore, since it was the reign of the Romans, Herod, in order to please the Romans, erected the idols of eagle, which is the symbol of the Romans, on the pinnacle of the temple. The Orthodox Jews, who considered this as idolatry, vehemently expressed, their condemnation. Nevertheless, this was accepted by the Orthodox Jews, and other Jews as their temple, and the worship was not stopped. It is to be noted that, it was in this temple, that the parents of Lord Jesus, dedicated him, when he was a child. Let us now see, some of the systems, which was in place during those days concerning the Temple of Jerusalem. Devotees, cannot stand wherever they want, and worship, dedicated place for each section of the people, were allotted and earmarked. The entrance, is called as the Golden Gate. As we enter, the outer courtyard, surrounding the Holy Sanctuary, was earmarked for the Gentiles. Those who do not belong to the Israelites' tribes, can stand here in the outer courtyard, and worship God. The beautifully decorated, inner courtyard was meant for the womenfolk. The women cannot enter, to any other place, it was stipulated that the women, can stand in this designated area, and participate in the worships. The right side of the Holy Sanctuary, was earmarked for the Levite tribe. Since the priests, who minister inside the temple were chosen, from the tribe of the Levite, this tribe was allotted an exclusive place, inside the temple. The left side of the Holy Sanctuary, was allotted for other Israelite tribes. The open courtyard of the Golden Gate, was meant for the Gentiles, and people of other religions. The outer courtyard was always filled with numerous people. One can enter into the temple, only after passing through this outer court. Only the Levites, can enter into the Holy Sanctuary. Here again, only those priests, who are appointed specifically, to minister for the priesthood, alone can enter into the most holy place. No one else, including the other Levites, can enter inside the most holy place. The Jerusalem Temple, would function on a daily basis. Worship, would be going on, in the worship center, and sacrifices, would be being offered, on the altar of sacrifice. The priests, appointed for the respective service, would minister on a rotational shift basis. On account of this, the temple was filled, with movement of people all through the day. The priests, were classified into various divisions, and each division was allotted a specific task. Among the Levites, there were singers, musicians, drummers, and trumpet blowers. These men would also, minister in the temple, on a rotational shift basis, all through the day. The place which was earmarked for them, was situated on the left side of the Holy Sanctuary. The singers would praise, and worship God, from this place. The sound of the musical instruments, and the sound of the trumpets, in between would keep, on heralding in the temple. The money changers, and dove sellers, would occupy the outer courtyard, along with the Gentiles. The shops of these merchants, were found in large numbers. Each day, would seem like a day of grand festival. The outer courtyard, where the Gentiles would come, and worship, was highly congested and unhygienic. Be it the money changers, or the dove sellers, they would arbitrarily, charge exorbitant prices, and earn huge profits. The temple administration, would not interfere in such matters. Instead, the temple administration, would collect a portion, from such sale proceeds. During those days, the Romans, were ruling the Israelites. Hence, the coin released by the Romans, had inscribed the image, of the head of Roman emperor. 
The other side of the coin had the image of the eagle, the symbol of the Roman Empire. These were considered as idols, and hence, these coins were not used as offerings in the temple. Owing to this reason, the Jews had a released a separate coin, which can be offered in the temple. The Jews had termed this coin as the temple coins. Only this particular coin was to be offered as an offering in the temple. Therefore, the priests would exchange these coins with the numerous money changers sitting in the outer courtyard. If anyone wanted to offer money to the temple, then they must buy the temple coin from the money changers and pay an equal value in the Roman coin. Only these designated coins were to be used in the temple. It was here in this transaction that the money changers started to exhibit their selfish greed. Without fixing a determined, set value to the government coin, they would hide the temple coins, and arbitrarily sold the temple coins, as per their wish. The people were made to shell out, huge value of the government coin, so as to get the temple coin. Looking at this, Lord Jesus, rebuked and drove away the money changers, saying, Have you made my father's house, as a robber's den? The temple built by Herod, was set ablaze by Roman, General Titus in 70, AD. The walls of the temple, were totally destroyed, and the temple was razed to the ground. Presently, only the remains of the ruins, are found in the place where the temple stood once. Bible, tells us that this temple, will be rebuilt during for the third time, by Antichrist, in the last days.